Hi, I'm Lisa Egan, Executive Director of the Reading North Reading Chamber of Commerce. Welcome to today's edition of the Shop Local TV show. I'm here with Jackie Carpinito, owner of Axel Color Studio. Thank you so much for joining me Thank today. Thank you for here. having me. I appreciate it. And we know each other because you're also on our board of directors. Mm -hmm. So I love to welcome business owners in who are so involved in the community um, here in North Reading. So thanks for taking time out of your schedule. I of appreciate course. it. Thank you. So we were talking a little bit before that I wanted to hear about your salon and kind of what brought you to um, creating Axel Color Studio. Yeah, so a little more about it. Um, we've been in business for six years. We celebrated our sixth anniversary in September. Um, and I own the salon with my sister, Alex Williams. And um, th we both really wanted to go to hair school, never did it. Mm -hmm. We did our own thing. Um, I worked for the Boston Film Festival for quite some time. I was the director of business development for an engineering firm. Um, but I always, um, I always wanted to be involved in the, the hair and makeup world. And um, I've done makeup always. And um, six years ago, it was just the right time. And my sister actually started the salon uh, with a stylist um, that uh, we had been seeing for a long time. And um, she had no desire to own a salon, but mm -hmm. had this desire to work for a salon that ran a particular way. Mm -hmm. And so it sort of was like the perfect match. So she and my sister started the salon and um, it started to get busy and it started you know, to really gain some traction. So a few months later, I came on board um, as co-owner and um, sort of applied my, I went to school for PR. And um, so I came in and, um, you know, used my background and um, that's kind of how we came to be. So um, she and I run the run the day-to-day -day business and then I'm also a makeup artist. So I, I take clients as well, do weddings and special events and, you know, anything you could imagine. So um, we're a great team. <laughs> nice. Well, I think it's neat that you as owners aren't actually taking on clients to style hair. You're more focused on making sure people and customers, you know, are matched with the right stylist, but also um, can do more of the marketing and outreach rather than being exactly. um, in appointments all day, every day. Exactly. I think that is actually where our strengths really lie. Um, we, uh, where we're not taking clients for hair at this point, um, she and I really, I mean, I think customer service is the most important thing. I mean, yes, you need to come in and have a great color service, great cut service, your makeup has to look great. But at the end of the day, we want people to have a really great experience. That's, that was actually our, our drive in opening up the salon. We wanted to create that Boston City, Newberry Street experience without the hassles of necessarily you know, going into the city for some people. Um, and it just didn't seem like it existed for us um, around here. So um, that, that was sort of why we, we thought you know, there's a market for this in this area. Um, and so one of the things that we do is, I mean, 99% of the time, it's either me or my sister Alex answering the phone. Mm -hmm. And when we talk with a client, especially a new client, you know, we can do sort of a pre-consultation, figure out what their needs are, what they're looking for, get a gauge of their personality and find the stylist that um, really, you know, matches their needs and what they're looking to do and achieve, but also, um, you know, who they'll enjoy sitting with for an hour, three hours, whatever it may be. Um, because you know you you want to love your hair, but you also want to enjoy the experience mm -hmm. and want to be able to at least enjoy sitting there with that stylist for some time. So um, and especially if you're coming in, you know, every we have clients who come in and have their hair colored every two three weeks. It's like you you want to at least enjoy that experience. So for us, we're able to we're not just saying okay, here's our next available and putting you with whoever. We're really making sure. You, we pair you with who we think you'll you'll do well with long term. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah, I didn't realize that. That's great. Yeah. Well, I know when I've been to the salon, it does have a really inviting but elegant kind of vibe that you'd like to spend time in, and yeah. it's really pretty and everything mm -hmm. from like the window boxes to all the lighting fixtures. Thank you. It's really very pretty. Thank you. How did you end up picking um, the spot in North Reading? Um, it just seemed like it had a lot of potential, mm -hmm. um, and our landlord allowed us to go in and basically gut it and, and do what we wanted with the space. Um, and it just it just seemed like it had so much potential. It wasn't already a salon. It um, we just kind of um, could see what it it could be, and it's and um, 
one of the great things about the salon is parking. We yeah. actually get a decent amount of clients who go elsewhere who you know, might love their hair, but they just can't ever get a spot and they end up being late for their appointment, their stylist can't take them, or it's just, you know, they're running out in the rain with color on their hair to feed the meter. And mm -hmm. so we have a great parking lot. Um, you do. So that was actually a, a big thing for us in choosing a location, somewhere that you, know, you can easily just pull in, find a spot, come in. Mm -hmm. um, we wanted a storefront, so... Um, yeah, I think we were successful in, in finding that location. And North Reading um, seems to be a great community, and we've we've loved being a part of it for six years. Um, loved being a part of the chamber. Um, I was a part of Rotary for a long time. Um, you know, I'm in a, a BNI group in the town that's also great. Um, we we sponsor the North Reading girls softball uh, opening day and a team every year. So it's um, we really love to be involved in the community, and of course, the, coming up the North Reading Tree Lighting, which is always a huge, amazing, successful event. So um, it's a really fun community to be a part of. Mm -hmm. um, and it's nice you're right on Main Street. You're so yeah. visible, easy to find. And I can imagine how. I know it's easy to, when you're trying to run out during the work day or at the end of the day, exactly. it's nice not to have the hassle of like tons of traffic and navigating a space. Yeah makes a lot Absolutely. of sense. We even have clients, we have a decent clientele from the city actually, mm -hmm. and they find it easier to just get in their cars and drive straight to us than, you know, drive around the city, try to find parking or find a garage and pay $40. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's just like, it's easy. You know, you can drive straight to us and find a spot always. So yeah, well, it makes it, yeah. it makes it um, relaxing, especially when people are coming so often. Exactly. You know? Perfect. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about your background in terms of the makeup artist. I know that you have a couple different kinds of educational yeah, so certifications. I, I, um, so I am self-taught. Um, I've always done makeup. I, I, I basically learned from my mom, who's great at doing makeup, mm. her doing her own makeup. And I always watched her and just loved it. It was like my favorite thing to do was sit, sit mm. on the bathroom floor and watch her do her makeup every day. Um, and so... I always ended up just doing it for friends and family members and for proms and mm. it just, um, and so I've been doing it honestly forever and then um, eventually I did just because I wanted to have that, you know, um, that license. So I, I went and um, I did go to Katherine Hines uh, Institute of, Aesth of Aesthetics in Woburn and um, I did get my aesthetics license and um, so it's nice just to have that like true background of skincare, mm -hmm. um, because I, I mean, I always tell everybody your makeup is only going to look as good as the skin that you put it on. So yeah, I believe um, it. So just having that knowledge and then being able to refer those services out um, to people who I know and trust. I actually work a lot with Embody Med Spa, mm -hmm. um, and uh, they're in North Reading as well, and um, they're an amazing place. So I like to, um, you know go and have my clients go there for hydrofacials before they come to me for their wedding day and things like that. Um, so it's nice. We do have a really nice community of local businesses that you can kind of refer out to. Um, and so, yeah, so I just think having that, having that background is, um, is great. And of course I've taken classes and things like that. I recently took some classes in New York. Um, and yeah, so I love to do it. It's nice. I, I really love to be able to, you know, do the business side of things, but also have my creative outlet. Mm -hmm. um, and I, like I said before, I do a lot of weddings, proms. Um, you know, if somebody is shooting, uh, having a photo shoot for their headshots. Mm -hmm. I've done a lot of work for different authors who come in and they're having, you know, the, the headshot for their book done and um, you name it. So a lot of different kind of projects. So it's really fun. That sounds great. Yeah. I didn't even think about that, like headshots. It makes perfect sense though. Exactly. Yeah, so that's um, that. That actually is a decent part of my business. Um, yeah, and I, I like mean, doing that because it's one of those pictures you might use for lots of years, yes. and you do want to look great for it. Exactly, and look like yourself, but look mm -hmm. like the best version. So it's um, and and men too. It's not just for women. I mean, if you're going to be shooting a TV commercial, and I have, I do this too. You know, you want to make sure that you're you have your makeup done as well, even if you're a man. And I'm not talking about mm. like coming in and having eyeshadow mm. and lashes done and all of that. But um, there is, you know, you want to look a, a certain way for camera. So mm -hmm. I think that it's important. Yeah, and I'm sure on camera when you do the makeup right and it's done properly by someone who knows how to do it, yes. you can't even tell no, versus... but it's night and day. You yes. don't want to look shiny or, you know, nervous, sweaty, any of that. So, um, and you've seen, I mean, I always call it, 
politician makeup, sometimes they forget to do the ears. Yeah. And you see like the white ears and the orange skin. So you want to make sure that that doesn't mm -hmm. happen, that you don't have politician ears. <laughs> yes. Good point. Yeah. Right. You don't want the like distinct line. Exactly. Nice. So, yeah. So how many people are at the salon? Like how many stylists do you have? There's 11 of us right now. Oh, nice. Yeah. So it's a really good group. And I think that um, that's also what sets us apart. We have the most amazing staff. Mm -hmm. um, not just talented. I mean, we have super talented stylists, but we have really nice people who work for us. And I think that um, getting your hair done is kind of a vulnerable experience. Mm. It's like you come in and your hair is washed and you're sitting there in a cape mm. and you're, you know, and you, you want to be treated well. And um, I think it's, um, it's so important, especially just for the vibe of the salon. We want to make sure we're working with a really nice group. And we work so closely together every mm. day that it's just, I think it, it makes the difference and clients can feel that energy. And when you have a really good group of people working together who genuinely like each other and care about each other, um, because we are working in such close quarters. So, mm -hmm. and a lot of times, you know, a, a stylist might come jump in and help with something or it's important that there's that synergy. And, um, so I can't say enough good things about, uh, the stylists who I work with. They're amazing in every way. So we're, we're so, so lucky that we've sort of, uh, come up with this group. So have you people. had the same team for a while with like, you know, people adding on as needed? Yeah, or? so for the most part, I mean, obviously we've had some changes here and there, but mm -hmm. for the most part, we've had this amazing core group since the beginning. Nice. Yeah. Do you do any kind of like anything team building wise or is it just a natural click when, when you're hiring you just want to find someone who feels like the right fit? We want to find someone who, who has a talent but feels like the right fit. Um, but we do a ton of education. Mm -hmm. um, so whether we have educators come in the salon um, or we, we go somewhere and, and take a class. Um, and then we also actually have our stylists because we really feel like we have the best stylists around. We actually have our stylists educate each other. Um, and that's oh, always nice. been really successful mm -hmm. for us. Um, so that's, um, and then of course, as far as team building goes, we do a lot of fun things together. So whether it's a paint night or, um, you know, we just had um, a really successful anniversary party for our sixth anniversary. Um, and that was a ton of fun and um, huge support from the community. We had a, had a lot of people show up on a rainy Thursday night. So um, we were, we were really proud of that. Yeah, so, it, it sounds fun to so celebrate. fun. Yeah, six years is a big milestone. Yeah, it's a random year, mm -hmm. but we felt like it. It was just like a we hadn't done it in the past, and we thought, you know, we should really we should really celebrate because it's something to celebrate. Absolutely, it's not an easy business. Um, it's a it's such a great business, but I mean, no no business is easy. But mm -hmm. um, sometimes we, I, I think we, don't focus enough on the achievements. So it's important to just kind of step back and recognize that as a group and. Um, see how far we've come. Nice. Yeah. So how do you and your sister divide the work in terms of like running the salon and just the day to day? Yeah. So we're totally in and yang. She, it's nice because she likes to do the, to do the things for the most part that I don't like to mm. do and vice versa. So we work really well. We're never stepping on each other's toes. We sort of, you know, she's, she's payroll inventory, most of the management. I do more of the advertising marketing, um, networking, things like that, so, and makeup. So it's, um, it really works. We just have a good system down. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a natural system because it's like, I'm good at this, I'm gonna do this. She's good at that, she's gonna do that. So um, she's definitely um, the more organized one. So she deals with more of the organizational kind of things. So. Yeah. And I like to do more of the creative stuff, so. That's good, yeah. yeah. Organization is important when it's inventory and booking. Exactly, and exactly. Finances. So she gets stuck. She probably has the tougher job than I do, but so I'm lucky to have her. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Personally and professionally. Nice. It's yeah. nice that you guys can work together. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We love each other. <laughs> of course you do. That's awesome. Yeah. So it's great. It's a lot of fun to get to work with your sister. It's, uh, it, you know, you hear all of these horror stories um, about families working together, family businesses. It divides the family, and we just, we have the opposite of that, so... Come wood. Yeah. We're, <laughs> I don't ever see that happening where we do really well together. And I think because we love and trust each other, we always want to do what's in the best interest for, of everybody. And um, so it's nice knowing that, like, when the salon is in her hands, it's in good hands. When it's in my hands, it's in good hands. And yeah. Do you overlap a lot in the salon or do, do. you kind of like alternate hours? We to do. Make sure coverage? We, I would say it's sort of like 
we're, there are times when she and I are in there alone, and then there are times when they're, we're in there together. So Nice. Yeah. Is there anything else that I should know about um, what you do at your salon? Um, no, I just think, I mean, we, we really cover all facets of hair cutting and coloring. Um, we, like I said before, we do a ton of education, so we're certified in every type of special technique, whether it be balayage or ombre or um, color correcting. We do see a fair amount of that. Um, so, what is color correcting when someone gets their hair colored and they don't like the way it looks? Exactly. Or maybe they've done something at home that mm -hmm. didn't totally work out, which I yeah. really recommend not trying. Yes. <laughs> um, it, it. it almost never works out <laughs> uh, the way you hope. So, I mean, it really is chemistry. It's amazing. I'm, mm. I'm always amazed watching the stylists do what they do because it, it it's chemistry. You're dealing with chemicals, and I think it's important that... Um, you don't mess with it at home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. You might not get the results you yeah. want, and there's a scientific process happening exactly. right there. Exactly. It's more than just you know squeezing out a tube of color and putting it on your head. It's there's a lot of mixing and, and mm. chemistry and what and measuring involved. So um, mm -hmm. it's Im it's important um, if you want to look good. So yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So it's um yeah we we really love cutting coloring. You name it. Uh, we also do facial waxing, all types of makeup services. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's so. If people were interested, did, do you usually have like a queue, or can you accommodate people pretty quickly? So How we tend to book up. So the sooner you call, the better. Mm -hmm. um, there does tend to be a wait. Mm -hmm. um, we do offer complimentary consultations, though. So mm -hmm. um, I'm always urging people. You know, if you if you have any questions for the stylist, want a recommendation. Um, we highly recommend coming in for consultation. It's quick, it's easy, um, and you can sort of nail down what you want to do with the appointment, and then we can book it for you, and we'll get you in as soon as possible. We always mm -hmm. have a waiting list going, so mm -hmm. um, sometimes it you know it works out, and we can get you in quickly. Nice. It just depends. Yeah, it's good to be able to talk, especially if you want to do a different kind of change exactly. or change the color or go in another direction. Exactly. It's great really for the client. It's whatever. great for us, too, just to sort of know what we're Mm -hmm. what we're dealing with. So we're always happy to accommodate uh, clients for consultations, whether you're a new client or an existing client. So, nice. Yeah. And we do extensions, all type of extension services as well. So yeah. Oh, sounds great. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Thanks for taking time out of your day. And Of course. Yeah. So w w tell me your exact address. I know you're on Main Street. We're located at uh, 203 Main Street, North Reading. We're a storefront. We're located uh, right across the street from Joker's Wild, actually, which tends to be a a good mile yeah, good marker landmark. for people. <laughs> Perfect. Exactly. Well, I appreciate your coming. Thank you. Thank you. So maybe we can take just a second and talk about the red, the North Reading tree lighting. Sure. Just because I know we're working on that right now. Um, so that's coming up on Sunday, November 25th from 2.30 to 4.30 on the North Reading Common. Yes. And I know you've helped us on the committee, which we very much appreciate. Of course. Thanks for sharing your time and talent. Absolutely. Um, and it's an amazing event. I really especially families, I really encourage you to, to attend. It's, um, it's so much fun. It's, it, it really is like you pull up and it's like a Norman Rockwell poster. Mm -hmm. Um, it's just, uh, painting, I should say it's, it's, um, it's, it's just really nice to be there and tons of great food and activities and performances and, um, and the community really does put a lot into it. So it's nice mm -hmm. when everybody comes and Santa's there and, um, it's just, it's so much fun and yeah. I love being a part of it. Thank you. I know it's very charming, especially when my kids were younger. We used to love coming. And now that they're getting a little older, it's fun to like get behind the scenes and see yeah. how it's all planned together. Exactly. Um, I know we have the Santa photos, like you mentioned, at the Reading Co-op. And for anyone who's watching, there's parking at the um, Batch School and High School. Mm -hmm. And we have a trolley to bring people around because I know there's a lot of families that go and it's hard with, um, you know, parking. And it is a little bit mm -hmm. of a hell going from like the bank, for example, to um, the town common. Yes. So we have a trolley and we also have tractor rides from Mark Hall mm -hmm. and we have a digital photo booth this year, which is going to be new and really fun where people can take it's pictures. Awesome. Yeah, I know you're familiar with it too. So yeah. that's awesome. Royal Meadowview um, is sponsoring that. So I'm really looking forward to see the pictures and everything. Mm -hmm. um, the Pats are on that day at one. So we're actually going to be um, sh showing the Patriots game at the event. Awesome. So no sports fans, moms or dads <laughs> or kids can, you know, skip out. They'll still be able to watch the game and yes. keep an eye on the score. We have strolling characters. 
Um, oh, and the live ice sculpture, something we added a couple years ago where someone brings a big block of ice and we'll carve it right there with a chainsaw, which is really fun to watch. Yeah. It's awesome. Um, yeah. It's like snow. It's yeah, like, it if it's is. not snowing, it'll feel like it's snowing. Absolutely. <laughs> Bounce house. Um, and, you know, fun, a lot of fun family stuff. I know the Putnam House and the Historic District is open, too, so people can kind of walk mm -hmm. around. And, you know, it's so pretty and charming. And I think it you is. drive through and don't appreciate how many cool buildings there are right here yeah. in, in the town it's center. It's so, so quintessential New England. It it's is. It's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, thank you for sitting of on course, the committee. Of course, thank you. And um, it's my yeah, pleasure. for anyone who sees this, we would love to see you at the North Reading tree lighting. Um, we're lucky enough to add a bunch of lights a couple years ago. We installed new lights on the Haverhill side of the common. So it's extra festive now. Mm -hmm. And I know the town's going to be putting up the lights. And Santa will uh, flip the switch around 4.30 that day. So it's always the Sunday of Thanksgiving weekend. And this year it falls on the 25th. Yes. Um, so people who want to hear more about that, you can find out more at the Chamber website, which is www.readingandreadingchamber.com. Or um, for people interested in Axel, maybe you could just tell us your contact info. Sure. Um, so you can visit us at axelcolorstudio.com. Axel is A-X-L-E. Um, and we're also very active on our social media sites, so you can visit us on Facebook and on Instagram and see some of our work. Perfect. Well, again, so nice to talk with you. Nice Thanks to for talk to you joining too. me on the Shop Local of program. Course. Thank you. Thanks.